A bridge of like 50 meters and that's 39. Okay, and that's eight times 10 to the fourth children, pointed on a smooth pier at each end, as a figure of P12.3 head. A truck of mass three times 10 to the fourth power kilograms located 15 meters from one end. What are the forces on the bridge at the points of support? So we have a truck. There it is. It's located right here. Truck. Uh, that truck is 15 meters from one end. And we know that the whole thing is 50 meters wide. And the question is, John, what, what again were we solving for? Uh, the forces on the bridge at the points of support. The forces on the bridge at points of support. Okay. We need to start with a free body diagram. Bill, give me all the forces acting on the bridge in this free body diagram. Um, force of gravity, one on the, on the block. On the, the block? This is a truck. Oh, truck. <laughs> <laughs> We'll call it force of gravity sub T for truck. Okay. Uh, force of gravity of the bridge. Where is that at? Um, is it at the middle? It would be right at the center of mass of the bridge, which would be right in the middle. So the force of gravity of the bridge, and I will identify that as being in the middle by doing this 25 meters. All right. Um, force normal of the truck. There's a force normal acting on the truck. I agree. Okay. Um, force normal on the bridge. Where? No. It's okay. Force normal acting on the bridge is not in the middle. It's being on each end. On each end. It says it's being supported at each end. Force normal, we'll call this one one, and force normal two. And who can tell me which of these forces does not appear in our free body diagram for the forces acting on the bridge? It's an important distinction. It is one of these forces is actually not in our free body diagram. John. Force of gravity of the truck. The force of gravity of the truck actually does end up acting on the bridge. Potterell. The force normal of the truck. The force normal acting on the truck. I agree, there is a force normal acting on the truck. Absolutely. But remember, we're, we're drawing the forces acting on the bridge itself. And this force of gravity of the truck acts on the bridge because the tr truck is pushing down on the bridge. But this force normal that acts on the truck acts on the truck and not on the bridge. So this is the free body diagram for the forces acting on the bridge. We now know this object is in translational equilibrium. We also know it's in rotational equilibrium. Uh, therefore, we can sum the torques about any axis of rotation. Um, what's the problem with summing the forces in the y direction right now? Tim? Uh, Right, but that when we sum the forces, we don't have an axis of rotation, so that wouldn't be an issue. Sierra? Well, if, you sum, if you sum the forces in the y direction, you'll have two unknowns. We'll have one equation with two unknowns, right? Or you can cancel out one unknown. Right. So right now, we can't really sum the forces in the y direction because we'll have the two unknowns, force normal one and force normal two. We're instead going to sum the torques. Please pick an axis of rotation for summing the torques, Matt. Okay, so we're going to pick this as our axis of rotation. So this is going to be about the left end. We list all of our torques. We have the torque due to the force normal one, torque due to the force of gravity of the truck, torque due to the force of gravity of the bridge, and the torque due to force normal two. That is equal to I times alpha, or in this particular case, it's equal to zero. The right Hand rule. Please identify your right hand. Limber. Are you too cool for the right hand rule? No. Are you too cool for the right hand rule? No. All right. Here we go. <laughs> we start at the axis of rotation. We point our fingers along the lever arm. For the force of gravity of the truck, we curl our fingers in the direction of the force of gravity of the truck, we point our thumb into the board. Class, into the board is positive or negative? Negative. Good, because it corresponds with down. Therefore, we get the torque through the force of gravity of the truck is negative. Note, we do the exact same thing 
with the torque due to the force of gravity of the bridge, starting at the axis of rotation, moving along our lever arm, curling our fingers in the direction of the force of gravity of the bridge, we also get negative or into the board. For the torque due to the force normal two, again, we start at the axis of rotation, point our fingers along the lever arm, curl our fingers in the direction of the force normal two, we get that the torque is out of the board class, which is good. What about the torque due to the force normal one? Sierra. Well, the lever arm would be zero, so it can't. Notice the lever arm for normal one is equal to zero, so that whole piece is gone. Torque is RF sine theta, so we have negative uh, lever arm for the truck times the force of gravity of the truck times the sine theta for the truck minus the force, oops, minus the lever arm of the bridge multiplied by the force of gravity of the bridge times the sine theta for the bridge plus the force, lever arm for force normal two times the force normal two times the sine theta for force normal two. That all equals zero. Uh, let's see, what is, we'll just start with the thetas. What's the lever arm for the, I'm sorry, what's the angle between the force of gravity of the truck and the lever arm for the truck? Look, 90 degrees. Notice the lever arm is here. That's going to be a 90 degree angle. So this is going to be um, sine of 90 mass of the truck times G lever arm of the truck minus lever arm for the bridge, mass of the bridge times the acceleration due to gravity times the sine theta for the bridge, Loki. Also 90, this one works out well, plus lever arm for uh, force normal two, force normal two, and the sine of, look, 90. Notice all of these in this particular case are 90 degrees. At this point, it's just an issue of plugging in all the numbers. Uh, Henry, give me all the numbers here. The lever arm for the truck um, is uh, 15 meters. Mass of the truck? Uh, 30,000 kilograms. 30,000 kilograms. Acceleration to gravity here on planet Earth? Uh, 9.8. Positive or negative? Positive. Are you positive? Good. The lever arm for the bridge? Uh, 25 meters. 25 mass of bridge? Uh, 80,000 kilograms. 80,000 times the acceleration of gravity, which you mentioned as positive 9.8. The lever arm for force normal two? Um, 15 meters. Notice for that one, it's all the way from the axis of rotation, the entire length of the bridge, and force normal to that which we are solving. Please give me force normal two. Sig figs, 480 kilonewtons. Now that we have figured out force normal two, there are two different strategies to figure out force normal one. Please tell me what they both are. Thanks. You could sum the torques about the force normal two point. Actually, you could sum the torques, and there are an infinite number of answers for this, but we could sum the torques about any point here. We could even sum the torques about a point that's 4,000 meters over here. Right. We'll actually get the same thing. It's kind of useless, but sum of the torques about a different axis of rotation or some of the forces in the Some of the forces in the y direction, because it doesn't deal with the lever arm and all that stuff, it's clearly a little bit easier. So now that we have the force less you normal two, we can simply sum the forces in the y direction. Force normal one minus the force of gravity of the truck minus the force of gravity of the bridge plus the force normal two equals mass times the acceleration in the y direction, which is zero. Therefore, force normal one equals the force of gravity of the truck plus the force of gravity of the bridge minus the force normal two mass of the truck acceleration due to gravity plus the mass of the bridge acceleration due to gravity minus force normal two.
So, <clears throat> 597,000. Uh, that's in newtons with sig figs, 598 kilo newtons. So you can see a basic application of using translational and rotational 